just look at this hedge. I've never seen such shoddy workmanship. Good God, you're all the same. Plumbers, roofers, decorators. You're nothing but a load of cowboys. Well, I'm not paying you for this, I'll tell you that now. I'm not giving you a penny. <laughs> Yes, I'm afraid Barbara won't be at work today. It's her back. Yeah, apparently she's pulled an upper dorsal muscle. <laughs> yeah, she slipped on a condom outside the cathedral. <laughs> yeah, OK, thanks. Bye. Ted, have you hung that washing out? I've only just put the phone down. And when are you going to the shop? As soon as I've cleared away. How's the soup? I don't know. <laughs> I can't get any in. Oh, hang on. Here. Hold this. What? Just there. Right. Oh. What is this? I, I liquidised that leftover lasagna. Oh. Yeah. Well, do you want to read the paper? No, I'm oh. getting up. I can't bear another hour staring at that dead wasp in the lampshade. How is the back? Oh, it's no better. I've got a terrible pain in the neck. You're not the only one. <laughs> what was that? Nothing, love. <sighs> oh. Oh. Ah! Oh! It's not started that again. Third time today. You should never have defrosted oh. it. It nearly blinded me last week. I missed all of Carol Vorderman's house on Through the Keyhole and Dorian said she had a lovely utility room. Right, I'm off. Oh, uh, Kelly phoned for Neil. Oh, did she? Oh, good, I do like Kelly. Uh, he's landed on his feet there, hasn't he, jammy beggar? It's every man's dream to go out with a master's. Mm. She's a sports therapist, Ted. Yeah. I wonder if she could sort my back out for me. Just imagine coming home from work at night. And there she is in a white coat, ready and waiting to give you a thud of rubbing down. Ted, your glasses are steaming up. <laughs> oh, have those scouts finished that hedge? I expect so, yeah. What, you mean you haven't been keeping an eye on them? No! Oh, my God! What is it? Look! Sleep. Yeah. Just put him on top of the washing machine. No. Well, you should do. He likes the vibrations to send him off. Right. Boil wash is best. It's got the longest spin. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Come here. Oh, that's nice. We're really lucky having Georgie. Yeah, if only people knew what they were missing. Three hours pacing up and down the London every night. Oh, by the way, <laughs> that banister needs fixing. Martin. Hmm? I want another baby. I think I fixed that banister. Martin. No, 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 it's a death trap. An accident waiting to happen. I'm serious, Martin. I want Georgie to have a little playmate. I think we should wait. How long? Twenty years. <laughs> what? Well, all right. At least until he leaves school. Will you get back into bed, Martin? You said you wanted four. Yeah, that was before I had one. Martin. Stay where I can see you. Look, I'll be 30 next birthday. Put your hands up. Look, if we want a big family, then we'd better get cracking. I'll tell you what, I'll get you those new kitchen units instead. What? You know, top the range, no messing, all nice new pine and that. Oh, for God's sake. I'm just not ready for another kiddie yet, Linda. I think I've got postnatal depression. <laughs> So, Mum, how are you feeling? A bit better, thanks. You've got to be careful with Max. Martin's mother ripped her back getting a frisbee out of a tree, and for six weeks she had no feeling from the waist down. Well, that's very comforting. Tea's up! Ah, 
last and parched. Oh, good news. Mrs Gibbs is coming round tomorrow to help with all the washing and cleaning. Ted, I told you I don't want Mrs Gibbs in my house. I need the help. No, you Look, don't. I'm not discussing it anymore. She starts tomorrow. But she's weird. She's not weird. Ted, she's had a cattle grid put on a drive. <laughs> Who's Mrs Gibbs? Oh, you know. Big woman works in the florist. One Miss Muscles North, 1983. <laughs> oh, I remember her. Wasn't she the woman who strangled a horse? Well, that was never proved. <laughs> Ted, you can't leave me alone with her. Oh. When was the last time anybody saw Mr Gibbs? <laughs> All right, love, bye. Mum? Yeah? After you'd had me when, when I was a little baby, did Dad go off you a bit? No. I went off him. <laughs> right. Why? Oh, it's nothing. Where's the invalid? She's right here. Oh, hello, Linda. Oh, bah, you don't look well. <laughs> you look so old. Thank you, Jean. And you've no colour, has she, Linda? Mm. You see, that's the thing with bats. Do you remember Dottie Gooch? Her bat's completely disintegrated. She's in a motorised buggy now. <laughs> I don't want any more visitors. You're looking well, Auntie Jean. Oh, well, I do feel better. I've been off colour since that mishap with the colonic irrigation. What happened? The machine got stuck on blow instead of soap. <laughs> anyway, I've got these steroids from the doctor. You know, to build me strength up. I tell you, Bar, they were wonders. Steroids? I'm only supposed to take one a day, but they've made me feel so good. <laughs> these are ever so powerful, Jean. You've got to be careful. Why? Well, I saw what they did to Maureen Meller. Within two weeks, she looked like an East German shop putter. Well, I'd better get back to rehearsals, Bar. I tell you, I'm never doing one of these plays again. Why not? It's Clive. Every day he has a tantrum. He can't get on with the other actors. He says he's carrying the whole show. Who's he playing this year? The back end of a pantomime horse. <laughs> I'd better go. I'll call you soon. Hiya, love. Here it again. Oh, sorry. It's mad at work. I've got this big new story breaking. What are these? <laughs> they're pants. That's right, Martin. They're pants. They're not my pants and they're not your pants. So what were they doing in your anorak pocket? What are you doing going through my pockets? Oh, grow up, Martin. I'm your wife. It's what I do. <laughs> this woman, she's a crank. She keeps sending me her pants. It's nothing. Oh, yeah? You don't believe me, do you? Look, Martin, you tell me you don't want any more kids. You're late home from work every night. I find pants in your anorak. I mean, what's going on? Nothing. Are you having an affair? No! Well, it certainly looks like it. Oh, there's me thinking I'm busting my guts at work all day when apparently I'm, I'm seducing the entire female population of West Yorkshire and running off with her pants! <laughs> Linda... Mrs Gibbs wants to know if you've got any meths. Does she not drink coffee? <laughs> now, don't start on Mrs Gibbs. I wouldn't dare. I've seen the blood under her fingernails. <laughs> What's these? Uh, aerial photographs. Mrs Gibbs's boy does them. He goes up in a plane, takes pictures from above. Uh, look, look, this is the, uh, the light industrial estate. That big roof there is carpet mania, and this here is B&Q's car park. Fancy. Yeah. That, that photograph was obviously not taken on a Saturday. That car park's at only 40% capacity. <laughs> Do you mean you've sat here and worked that out? <laughs> oh, this fridge light's all right now. Now, where's that orange juice? I do wish you'd get that fixed, Ted. We shouldn't have to wear goggles every time we go for the milk. Well, you might have told me Mrs Gibbs was coming. She just marched in and turned me mattress over. She's got to clean. I was lying on it. Don't ask. What are these? Photographs of the light industrial estate. I did warn you. You see... There's a nasty stain in your bedroom, young man. I've had a sniff and my money's on Vindaloo. <laughs> I need a candle, some vanilla essence, and a piece of coal. Draws the stain right out. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you buy all this rubbish. You pay for the packaging. I make my own polish. Petroleum jelly, vodka, a pickled onion, and dihydrochloral oxytanic phosphate. <laughs> Looks mine in bulk. Got a vat. 
And all because you couldn't do a bit of dusting. You know, Richard Tunnicliffe swears he once saw her in the park eating a pigeon. <laughs> Don't be daft, it was probably just a chicken drumstick. Uh, no, it's definitely a pigeon, she hadn't plucked it. <laughs> anyway, when's Kelly coming over? I wanted to have a look at my back. Uh, I'll finish with her. What? Yeah, we split up. You can't! Why not? What about my back? Neil, she's a masseuse. So? She's a lovely girl. Mom, there was no spark, no excitement, no... war. She's a masseuse. Will you shut up, Ted? Oh, there's got to be whoa in that. You're not going to do better than her, Neil. I mean, if, there, if there's no whoa with a masseuse, there's never going to be any whoa. I mean, you go out with her, then. <laughs> what are we going to do? Clive and Mr Carlotti just aren't getting on. I know. Can you talk to him? Well, I'll try. But the problem is, Clive doesn't think that Mr Carlotti makes a very good pantomime horse. You see, Clive's such a perfectionist. He's watched hours of dressage on video and... Well, he gets very upset when Mr Carlotti can't trot in time. Well, it's affecting the show. I'm not doing it right. Man! Not again! <laughs> You're Martin and another woman? Yeah. I mean, he says no, but he would, wouldn't he? Caught red-handed, her pants in his pocket. Found them yesterday. God, I was angry yesterday. And I'm much better today. <laughs> I'm totally chilled, totally calm. <laughs> Whose pants are they, though? Eh? Hey, that's what I want to know. I mean, he says he doesn't know, but you want to see them. Skimpy, frilly little things. They're not pants, more like cheese wire. <laughs> Probably belong to some Billy McBottom secretary, Miss Miss Mini Ass Two Thousand. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting. What do you think, Dad? No, I'm not. He's hiding something. Even if he's not having an affair, he's definitely hiding something. Otherwise, he'd have mentioned the pants. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Dad. Oh, been a great help. <laughs> Fun? Oh, I don't. I've only just got him down. Turn that thing off, will you? The wheels on that bloody bus have been going on for four hours. So what's up? Oh, it's Linda. She's really not happy with me. She still shouldn't put you in there. <laughs> she found these in my anorak pocket. Right. She completely flew off the handle. Yeah, sure. Okay, one question. How did you get into them? <laughs> she thinks I'm having an affair. Yeah, come on, what's the problem? No, that's it. She thinks I'm having an affair. You? Yeah. Who'd have an affair with you? <laughs> Lots of people. Name them. Well, I don't know. Well, the woman who sent me those pants. Nah, I just can't see it. Well, the thing is, Linda can. She's your sister. Help me. Talk to her. Tell her I'd never cheat on her, please. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'll have a word. You know, some of us have got to sort out our own problems, you know. You haven't got problems like these. I well, just blow up with Kelly. The masseurs? Yeah. She's a masseurs. I know. <laughs> A masseuse. I oh, know. What's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. God, mate, you won't do better than her. Oh, sort out your own problem. Oh, no, Neil! Oh, Neil! <laughs> you know, Kelly, just because you and Neil aren't seeing each other anymore doesn't mean that we have to stop seeing you. Oh, thanks, Barbara. I mean, it's rare for me to find somebody your age that I like. <laughs> did the vibrating pad help? Oh, yes, it did. Well, next time I'll have to give you a proper massage. Oh, that would be lovely. I can't believe you've never played Escape from Coldwich before. <laughs> <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. Oh, look, Pa! I'm in the staff car. Six decent moves and I'm out of here. Freedom. I can smell it. He doesn't get out much. <laughs> it's a 
shame one of us has to play the German. Well, not really. Barbara enjoys it. <laughs> oh, hi, Neil. Kelly. Hello, Neil. We're playing Golditz. What? I'm in the staff car. Did you have a good evening, love? A word, please, Mum. Oh. Right. Oh. What the hell's going on? We're playing Cody. With my ex-girlfriend. So? So? So I'm not going out with her anymore. We like her, Neil. She's a lovely girl. I know, Mum, but you can't keep seeing my girlfriends when I've stopped going out with them. Why not? Because... Because! That's why. You know, I think if you asked her, she might consider getting back together. No, Mum, I told you it's over. There's no oomph. You said war. <laughs> Come on, Pa. It's your turn. Kelly's in the tunnel. I think Neil wants Kelly to go. Why? Dad, it's awkward for me. Well, I'll drop her back after the game. No! <laughs> I'm in the staff car. Look, I don't want to hear. I only, I only need a double six. All right, I'll tell her myself. Neil, I've never escaped from Coldwich before. <laughs> All right, I'll go. I don't think we handled that one very well. No. Come on, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, Bar, I'm ever so worried about Clive. Oh, no. He's walked out on Dick Whittington, and Mr Carlotti says that he'll kill Clive if he doesn't come back. Well, I shouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure it'll blow over. But I'm frightened, Bar. You know what these Sicilians are like? What do you mean? The Mafia. <laughs> This is Pudsey. I know, but Mr. Carlotti has a terrible temper, and his son does carry a violin case. That's because he plays the violin. Yeah. Oh, hello, Dor. It's what? here. What? The aerial photograph. I've just picked it up from Mrs. Gibbs's boy. What is it? It's a picture of our house taken from a plane. Oh, that's lovely. Where's your house? Uh. Tad. No, no, hang on. I'm, I'm just getting my bearings now. Now, uh, this is the, this is the park. Uh, and 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 this is the sewage works. Yes, yes so if that's yeah. the park and that's the sewage works, our house must be here. <laughs> yes. Ted, we are not paying for a photo of the sewage works. <laughs> Just passing, and I said, Let's pop in and cheer Barbara up because she needs cheering up. And Jean said, Yes, she does need cheering up, so let's cheer her up. So here we are. <laughs> cheer you up. Phil, if only you knew. Oh, party sounds in full swing. Hello, Dor. Hello, Ted. I'm glad we're alone, Barbara. Oh, yeah? I, I wanted to have a word about Jean. Oh, what's up? Do you think Jean's become noticeably more male? Hey? You know, masculine. Have you noticed her top lip? She used to have downy hair, but now it's just stubble. Oh. She doesn't have her own strength. Last night we were making pina coladas and she cracked open a coconut with her bare hands. Come on, Rachel. Neil, I'm really not ready to meet your parents yet. Look, they keep going on about Kelly. I want them to keep going on about you. So they won't bite. I might, but they won't. Come on. All right, son. Hello, Neil. Hello. Hello. Oh, Kelly. I feel like a new woman. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mom. Uh, this is Rachel. Uh, Rachel, this is my mum. Hello. And this is my dad. Being massaged by my ex-girlfriend, Kelly. <laughs> now, can I get you a tea or a coffee, or should we just split up now? <laughs> I mean, how many more times have we got to go through this? We didn't think. No, you didn't think, did you? You just did the first thing that came into your head. We just thought... No, don't answer back. <laughs> No, I don't want you seeing her again. Oh, oh God. Uh, 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 End of conversation, you are not to see her again, is that clear? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. yes. Good. Now go to bed.
Martin, what the hell do you think you're doing? I'm trying to read my book. There's nothing else to do round here. Martin. What? Window. <laughs> you? Yeah. You're the one who's been sending me the pants. Well, obviously they weren't my pants. My pants wouldn't have fitted through the letterbox. <laughs> Linda. I'm sorry it's so late, but I was just so excited to find out where you lived. <laughs> you will come away with me, won't you? <laughs> I want to have your babies. Thank you for all your help around the house this past few days. It's nothing. And thank you for taking the fridge to the repairers. Don't mention it. Mind you, it took me half an hour to find the place. You really shouldn't have carried it there all on your own. <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> now, my Darren wants to know when you're paying for those aerial photos he took. Well, there's a bit of a problem there. You see, my husband thought he was paying for an aerial photo of our house. So what's the problem? You can't see our house. <laughs> so what are you saying? Well, it's a lot of money to pay for a photograph of the sewage works. So you're not paying? Well, if you put it like that, no. I mean, I don't think it's fair. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, Mrs Gibbs? <laughs> Close for lunch, they won't be open till two o'clock. Well, I've got to do something about this. <laughs> Barbara, I'm back. Barbara! Oh. What the? making a mistake dumping Kelly mm. but you can't tell kids can you they're always right when will they learn mm -hmm. you're the one that's always right exactly <laughs> <laughs> oh it's hard work isn't it Ted I mean you have your kids and they grow up and then they have kids and you never stop worrying about them I should be worrying about our Linda on my deathbed Martin will look after our Linda that's why I'm worried <laughs> Now, come on, shift over, oh. Ted. I've got to be diagonal or I'll never get off. 